Testing for gold. Scratch the piece to be tested over the surface of the black stone. Press well so as to leave a visible deposit, preferably line of one to one and a half inches long. Transfer a drop of the 10K solution to the scratch made. If the solution dissolves the scratch on the stone, it means the object is less than 10K of scratching. Transfer a drop of the 10K solution to the scratch made. If the solution dissolves the scratch on the stone, it means the object is less than 10 karat gold or not gold at all. If the solution leaves the scratch intact, it means the object being tested is 10K or greater. The 10K solution did not work, so we're going to use a different solution to see what carrot it really is. The scratching and testing is repeating with the 14K solution. If the solution dissolves the scratch or in the stone, it means the object is less than 14K. If the scratch dissolves slowly and leaves rusty colored particles, it is probably 12 karat gold. If the solution leaves the scratch intact, it means the object being tested is 14K or greater. The scratching and testing is done for the 18 karat solution and the 22 karat solution. If any remains are left after using the 18 karat solution, then you'd use the 22 karat solution. But if nothing remains, and then this would mean the item is only 14 karat and 58% pure gold.